Ryan, I've been watching you work here on these lift pumps. The three of them, I said, come on, let's have you do three lift pump overhauls on these three diesels in the shop. Can you share with the viewers what you've learned doing this? Absolutely. So with doing three lift pumps, I've had the unique opportunity to find the quickest way and the best way to do this. First of all, oil. The amount of oil that comes out when you remove the lift pump is significant. So what we found is the best way is to use one of these round magnetic dishes to position underneath the lift pump to then guide the oil that comes out into a bigger receptacle underneath. Number two is tools. Now it's only three bolts, but getting to them is the hard part. As you can see, I've got a plethora variety of 10 millimeter wrenches, angle wrenches, box end, ratcheting, even this nice short stubby would end up being too long. We found that if you have a nice flex head ratchet, you can get the forward lower bolt and access that, run that in with the ratchet. And then once that's tightened, you're able to thread the other ones on. Now, the wrench dilemma created this tool here. Now, we've decided that to make everybody's lives easier, we're going to include this with the parts kit because of how much simpler it makes installing the new locking nuts. Number three is the difficulty of getting the nuts started. The biggest issue is that you're fighting the fact that the pump is spring-loaded in there. So what I like to do is try to start one of the two bottom nuts first so that way you have something to leverage against when you're installing the top nut something to push against hold it in now i like to stand at the front of the car i'm right-handed so that allows me the greatest dexterity to get to this back nut here okay so once you've got the bottom two nuts started by hand you'll be fighting the tension the spring tension of the lift pump so that's where you're going to want to push that in so that you can then get your hand in to get the last nut on the top started and then you're able to access this front lower nut with the ratchet the flex head ratchet uh, but the other two you will need to use an open end wrench which is why that short short little wrench is worth its weight in gold uh, absolute godsend because it allows you to operate in the tight area that you have to light is key a good hand lamp is worth its weight in gold when doing this because once you're able to see what you're doing it makes a world of difference okay i just want to wax poetic for a minute here because this thing this little guy here is worth probably about 45 minutes now the first one that i did going in blind took me about an hour and 15 minutes the second one was half an hour so the second one was done with this and while it wasn't the entire part it made life so much easier, it's so much more enjoyable to do this job. If you jack the car up just enough to get a jack stand underneath it, get it off the ground four or five inches, it's gonna save your lower back immensely. So jack underneath, jack stand, just enough to get it up to take some of that stress off your lower back.